mistake number four. I'm really trying to do this without being over opinionated. And not saying anything to piss off certain somebody. You know, big brother. <laughs> I'm trying my best. And I tell you, I've been on a roll. A big roll. I've been on a roll. Today has been one of those days. And I ain't talking crescent rolls here either, guys. My mouth has just been on a roll. I'm trying to behave. So how about we just get into this food pantry haul and I'll try my best to behave, okay? Because my over-opinionated mouth. And it's not even over-opinionated, it's just too opinionated for certain people. Like Big Brother. Let's just get into this food pantry haul. Love y'all. Watch it to the end for me. Be right with ya. Okay, are you ready? No, you're not. You're crooked. You're crooked. Let's see if I can fix you without screwing something up. You're just going to have to be crooked. Hold on. I guess that's a wee bit better. I don't care. You're seeing my trash can over there, wherever it is. Where is it? Right? That white can right there. I don't care. It is what it is. Tiny little kitchen. I, anyways, let's just get into this. Um, toilet trays. I got some laundry soap. Um, I use it whenever I wash things by hand. So I'm going to slide that over that way towards the bathroom way. And I got... Well, that's a really short roll of paper towels. And first of all, I am thankful for everything I'm blessed with. It's not that that I'm complaining about, okay? Just want to put that out there. Paper towels are staying here in the kitchen. We've got some Copper Tone 50. Um, I just wanted to point out the expiration date is 1-2024 on these. They go, well, I'm going to roll it because it won't slide. Wipe out. Um, lemon scent, antibacterial, by like lemon Clorox wipes. Um, I can't use these on my t-shirts because they got lemon in them. So we're going to slide them over there for the bathroom. I got this little box. We're going to, um, set that out of my way. As you've seen, I have crescent rolls. I love crescent rolls and I'm going to be making some rigatoni. So, I'm going to put these, um, probably just right here out of my way for a moment. And I got a dozen eggs, and I hope I didn't break them. I don't look it. Um, I do do the water test with my eggs, because they get them in huge flats. I'm just saying that because I know some of you watch my videos, and some of you are new to my videos. So, what have we got in this bag? Is that coffee? No, it's cookies. Yes, cookies. Lots of cookies for my morning coffee and for camping. Because I'm going to escape. It's so one way or the other, I'm going to escape. I don't know how, but I'm going to get out of this house and go camping sooner or later. I'm going to put them over there to go in my cookies, in my snack area. Got some toastios. I like to just snack on these. Um, cereal. I'm just going to set the cereal like that. What are these? Caramel popcorn. Oh my goodness. That looks delicious. So this is going over in my snack area. Those will be utilized. We have double chocolate hot cocoa stirring spoon with mini marshmallows. Guys. Okay, so um, that's going to go up here on my coffee bar. I'm going to set it with those. What is this? Peanut butter chocolate granola cups. That looks delicious, guys. Yes, I don't have to buy any for a while. Yes. 
this bag will last me like four or five days. No kidding. The great big bags will last me like a week and a half, two weeks. I've, I'm hooked on these things. So that's all snack. Goes over that way. This is like almost the whole bag of snacks. We've got beef pasta. This is the... It doesn't say. But it looks like... It looks like um, red sauce in there, like spaghetti sauce. So, And then we have a cheeseburger flavored one. Um, I'm going to put these in my empty box that's sitting there for food. Yes, I have a spare box ready and waiting to put stuff in. Now we have a full loaf. <gasps> does that really say cinnamon? It does. Oh my goodness. Oh, you can smell the cinnamon. Mmm. Cinnamon toast in the morning. Yes. Sliced cinnamon brioche. Oh my goodness, guys. Have you ever had this? I've only had it because um, somebody I knew had some and we had some with um, tea one day. It's really good with tea, too. So, you know, hot tea. And it's been a while since I've had it. So, awesome. And then what else do we got? We have a cucumber. Great for a salad. Set it right there. We have a um, plum. Some of these. Um, does one have a tag? Um, anyways, these are good to put cheese in. Split them, put cheese in, and roast them. And I can't remember what they're called. Forgive me. And another, um, will keep. Whoops, sorry about that. Hold on. Get rid of the bag. What have we got in this bag? We have an onion. Oops, sorry guys. And then we have one potato, two potato, three potato more. Four potato, five potato. That's it. That's all she said. Can't do the whole thing. How many of y'all remember that? I'm going to set that over that direction because that's where my potato bin is. And here we have a roll of TP. You know what? The new currency is no longer toilet paper. It is eggs. I swear. And we have facial towels. Don't use these on your bougie because if you do, it probably will burn. I don't know what's in here. Cleanse, cleanse skin and remove makeup. Yeah, don't use it down there. And then we have, of course, hand sanitizer. Here's the bag. Um, we have very large loaf of French bread. I can either sit here and do this, or I can take this because I have an abundance of bread already to um, the community building here at my senior living complex and uh, donate to um, someone who can eat all those seeds. And, oh my gosh, I almost bought a package of these this morning because I'm going to go fishing today if it doesn't rain, and um, it's my birthday, and I bought some... 80 cent pack of meat and I'm going to make sandwiches and I'm disappearing today so I'm glad I didn't buy any because I got some anyways here is some donuts the pat box is really sticky um I'm going to set them there where they don't get sticky all over I got a package of hot dogs that's refrigerator. I got southern butter pecan. I'm allergic to sea salt, so I'm always looking. Egg yolk, egg, dextrose, skim milk. Salt. Sea salt. I can't have it. So I will be giving this away. That's sad. I want to show you where it says sea salt, guys. Right there. Sea salt. I always read my 
ingredients. Oh, this I know does not have sea salt, and I can eat this ice cream. This one's mine. Just say, this one's mine. I can have that one, but I wanted that one there. Anyways, and then I got a Marie Callender's Chicken Pot Pie. These are delicious, guys, but I would not pay what they want for one of these. So I have a Chicken Pot Pie. We have, I want to show you in the bag, an array of apples. We have some chicken breast. Um, you can see that. Um... April 28th, so it's probably been frozen for quite a while. Comes over here to the frozen foods. <gasps> yes, little smokies. And they're frozen. So these are going in the probably the refrigerator to get thawed. And then I have what's in the world? Oh, this is tuna. Um almost ten dollars for two pieces of tuna. Um, I don't know how to cook tuna, so this is yellowfin tuna. I guess I'm about to find out. I'm going to do some YouTube and cook some tuna. It won't be right away, but there we go. Oh my goodness, I love these things. These are amazing. This is grape, and I love grape, by the way. And... The ground bison, guys, this is a big tube. Um, I wish I had smaller tubes of this, but um, I, I wish I could cut this. I really do. But it is what it is. Um, I'm actually making my rigatoni with the ground bison, um, the small package. This is the mechanically separated ground turkey. I don't know why, but with my gastroparesis, this puts me in a flare. I, it, and there's no rhyme or reason with gastroparesis what you can and cannot eat. Um, I'm going to set that in a box because I'm running out of room for stuff. I'm going to slide this box over, slide this up. There we go. Vegetables. Um, I'm going to set this over for a minute. See what else we got. This feels like coffee. It is coffee. Let's see what we got in here. We have, um, I'll have to measure this out because this is decaf, um, I'm sure. Green Mountain, Dark Magic. Um, it doesn't say decaf. It's for a Keurig. But it's not... Um, in a Keurig pouch, but normally, well, it doesn't say it's decaf, so anyways, I'll have to measure it for my Keurig, for my Keurig, because this is a, um, this is organic, they feel like the, they're those little pods. Those round discs is what's in here. One single serve coffee pod. And then there's two more of the Keurig in there. So, coffee. Um, I'm going to put that in my thing in there. We have pancake syrup. This is light. And pancake mix. Instant potatoes. Um, that's going to go in there. I don't want it to fall over. We have some more cookies. That goes in my snack pile. Rigatoni. But this is going to go in my storage because I have a box open. Uh, yellow mustard. I have mustard open, so it goes in there. You're kidding, right? This is an open package of... Pasta. So, I 
Is it open? Why is it in a plastic bag? I'm curious, guys. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Sorry, but no thank you. <sighs> Fruit and grain blueberry. Chewy granola s'mores bar. I'm sorry. That just made me mad. Um, bakery mix. I have one open. Beef bouillon cubes. I'm out, so that's good to have. This is spaghetti sauce. I'm going to put the cans back in here when I'm done. Two cans of tuna. A can of chicken noodle. A second can of chicken noodle. Diced tomatoes. A can of sweet peas. A jar of crunchy peanut butter. I'm going to put the tomatoes back in there. I'm going to set this back. I'm going to bring this over. This is cut green beans. Applesauce. Pears. Another can of pears. Peaches. Um, applesauce. Vine ripened diced tomatoes. Um, pinto beans. Black eyed peas, which is really good with rice. Another can of diced tomatoes. You can take rice, black eyed peas, and diced tomatoes and make a meal out of it. And you don't need meat. Um, a whole kernel corn. Um, or you can add like chicken or you know something like that with it. Um, these are going in my snack pile. We have a bag of rice. Can go in there because it's got the bag food. Um, some top tier green peas. I like green peas. Two boxes of macaroni and cheese dinner. Um, chili, no beans. That actually makes really good chili dog. And then we have a big can of chunk light tuna and a big can of uh, chicken. And then we have two. Why I get duplicates on a lot of my stuff is part of this is from the USDA government boxes and some of it is, you know, commodities and the rest of it is food pantry. So I got two cans of the, uh, two more cans of that, a can of green beans. So you're going to see duplicates, um, can of black eyed peas because the USDA commodities box they have to give you certain things certain amount of things and then the you the regular food pantry gives you so much of certain things and then we have applesauce applesauce sliced peaches it looks like they actually just gave me duplicates of everything um more sliced peaches a can of pears this box is probably usda because of a couple things I see in this box. Uh, pinto beans. Another can of pinto beans. Um, big can, our bag of corn, which I'll put over here with my frozen. Some ground beef, which I'll put over here with my frozen. We aren't discussing that. And then, um, Yellow cheese. Is this American or... Hold on. This is American cheese. I make um, a lot of things with that. Um, that is the end of my boxes. Plus I got apple tuna sandwiches, which is pretty explanatory on how to cook it. 
um, tuna and bean wrap, which is pretty explanatory. Um, tuna melts, baked macaroni and cheese, creamy cheese, tuna noodle. Um, it's all pretty... I think everybody knows how to make those things. Tex-Mex bean dip, um, coleslaw. We didn't get anything to make coleslaw with. Roasted rooties, in other words, roasted root vegetables, and spinach dip. So really, we didn't get anything that we wouldn't have known about, but I'll hang on to these. All right, guys. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with me. And... Um, other than the uh, open bag of spaghetti that they turned around and put in a bag and sealed, um, everything was pretty good. Um, that kind of um, irritated me. Let me know what you thought about that. Um, I know that they have to give things out that they get. Um, but still, if something's open like that, I'm sorry. I would not give that out that that just that's me i i'm sorry that's not um an item i would give out but that's gotta go to the giveaway um anyways everybody thank you for watching thank you for coming all the way to the very end of this video if you did um i appreciate each and every one of you for watching and um i've got food to put away and hopefully I can get out of here and go do something um and I'd like to go live this evening it depends on how things work out we'll see everybody have a wonderful day take care talk to all of you guys down in the comments below and let me know what you like the most of what we got bye everybody